Hi there guys, this is Vlad with Review Outdoor Gear. And today I want to do a review of the Snug Pack Hammock products. I got the Snug Pack under blanket or under quilt. I have the Snug Pack just quilt that goes on top, so I guess a top quilt. And also I have the Snug Pack cocoon that goes all around the hammock. So Eugene and I recently started um, using hammocks more and uh, I spent a night out in the hammock, but I'm never out in the woods like this one's gonna be really cold. And I know that when you're in the hammock, your butt and your back gets really cold when you're sleeping in there, so you need something that goes underneath. And I've had my eye on these, these snug pack under quilts and uh, the other products because they're some, I think they're the cheapest or the best value of an under quilt that I've ever found. Um, almost all the under quilts and stuff I found, they're like $150 or so. and this one, this hammock under blanket, I believe that you can get on Amazon for about 50 bucks. So I was actually gonna buy these. I was basically, I had them in my Amazon shopping cart and I decided to uh, just ask them, the company to want to send them to us. So I sent them an email and they agreed to send us the, uh, these three products. So I'm gonna set these up and uh, we're gonna spend the night in them and see how it works. And we'll let you know in the morning after, after uh, our night. So here, this is the under blanket. And here you can see some of the specs actually written right on there. Um, the length and width here, and inches and centimeters, and also the weight, um, and then also the filling it has. When you pull this out of the bag, you'll need to tie some slip knots in these little bungee cords or shot cords. And you can see I had to add some string on here because my hammock is so big. But anyway, so you just put these um, these slip knots in, in your carabiner end if you have a smaller hammock, but I'm gonna put this in here because that's how it works with mine. And then you just make sure you have this kind of the smoother side inside. And this bag, uh, this under quilt, by the way, is not down, it's a, like a polyester filling. So um, it's gonna be heavier than down and less compressible, but more resistant to like water and moisture and stuff. So, so just do that on both sides and basically set this up to where when you're in the hammock, it does not, not gonna compress um, the material in there. Basically, when you get it set up, just sit in there and kind of check underneath yourself that it's not going to be getting compressed because it's kind of the whole point of the system. And then, once you do that, you have these additional shock cords here. And these just, you tighten up around like this. Basically, you can put them in here as well. So, for example, you kind of just tighten it to whatever you want it to be. You can put like a, a knot in there. For example, a figure eight knot right there. Just like that, and then hook that in here as well. Also, if you're closer to the tree, you could tie them around the tree, but the tree's kind of far away. So same thing on that side. So on these things, you kind of just have to guess and check uh, with how tight you need to make them. Basically just tie a knot. Well, you can untie it easily, like a figure eight or something, in there and hook it in. And then once you do that, basically you gotta get in your hammock and see how it fits around there. Once you kind of get it fitted the first time, um, it should be pretty good. So right now it looks like this is kind of a, it's too low, but I'm gonna get in here and it kinda, you kind of want it to be around you, but also you want it to uh, kind of hang underneath you so it wouldn't be too tight. So like it feels like I gotta maybe loosen it a little bit. Also when you're in here, these are little uh, drawstrings here. You can tighten them to make this thing kind of go up around you like this. So this is the top quilt. Once you got your under quilt set up or under blanket, um, you can either use this top quilt or you can get like a sleeping bag, but I chose to go with this so I can test them out. The dimensions are 74 inches long, 43 inches wide, and then also has little flaps built onto into the side, which are 10 inches. The weight is 39 ounces and it's also a poly filling. So here it is. You can see here it's kind of made specifically to fit in a hammock. It's kind of wider out on top where your face goes. Now we're at the bottom and at the bottom it has a little foot pocket. You can take your feet in. And also it has these little flaps on the side that you kind of tuck in around you. So when you move at night, the blanket doesn't come off of you. Um, all this stuff is made out of a really nice a diamond stitch kind of uh, nylon or poly fabric. It feels pretty rugged. Especially on, on the underside, I wouldn't be worried about it getting ripped or something if it gets 
snag on a stick or something. So once you got that in there, basically good to go. You gotta set up a tarp or whatever you got over yourself and then uh, they should keep you nice and warm all around. So the under blanket and top coat are one option you can use. It's kind of nice because if it's warmer, you can take just the under un under blanket if you want to. Another option is this cocoon, which basically goes all around and kind of combines those two together. So let's set this one up on our other hammock. So before I set this up, I'm going to mention the dimensions here. You can see here it's 118 inches long, 34 inches wide, and uh, the weight is about 69 ounces, and also a, a poly filling in there. So you can see that these things come in a stuff sack. Um, pretty nicely made, pretty well stitched together. I don't think they're gonna rip uh, very quickly. Um, I mean, keep in mind that this stuff is actually really inexpensive. So uh, it's a really awesome deal and really good quality for the money. So these come included with the bag and they, uh, you can just stuff them in there. You don't need to roll it up. You just stuff it in there and compress it. So that's really cool. So the cocoon is much easier to set up than the under blanket and top quilt together. All it is is just a big long tube with openings at the end. Um, what you gotta do is find the part that's wider. That's where your head goes and orient that whichever way you want it on the hammock. And then you unclip one side of your hammock and then you just basically feed it through here until you get to the other side. Just like that. And you clip it right into your hammock again it's almost basically set up. You stretch it out on top of your hammock, like that. Find the zipper side, keep that up. And then, again on this side, we had to add some more string because our hammocks are super long. Other hammocks are shorter. Uh, you just basically just put this in here like anything else. Do that on one side, and then do it on the other side like this, right in there. And there we go. You can adjust this over here with the shock cords to make it tight enough or loose enough to where you lay in it and it doesn't compress. That's really important. If you lay down and it gets all squished, it's basically not doing anything. You want it to be fluffy and have like a pocket of warm air under you. So that's basically all you need to do for this, all set up. You got the head side over here, unzip it, and you're good to go. There's an inside zipper that's marked bright orange. So you don't get trapped in there and all scared and get claustrophobic. So a super easy setup for this stuff. Basically all we need to do is sleep in them tonight. We'll see how they turn, how they hold up. So we'll let you know in the morning. See you then. Well, hello folks and good morning. Eugene and I spent the night under this tarp and our hammocks were set up underneath there. Like you remember Eugene was in the cocoon and I was in the under quilt and the top quilt. And uh, during the night it was raining and snowing and I believe it got down to the lower 30s or upper 20s because I woke up and there was frost and ice all over the water. So it was really, really cold. So uh, Eugene was in the cocoon and he had, he had a sleeping bag in there and he did really well. He stayed really warm in there, no complaints at all. And I was in the under quilt and the top quilt without anything else and uh, I stayed pretty warm through the night, uh, just towards the morning about five or six in the morning my feet started to get cold. So I'm really impressed with how well they did, they did actually because they kept me pretty warm lower than they were intended to I believe. So if you're looking for something like this to start out hammock camping, um, I definitely recommend this option. This is the cheapest option I've ever found and uh, I'm, they're, they're surprisingly well made um, and designed for how inexpensive they are. Like I said, I think the next step up is like 130 bucks for just an underquilt and you can get that on an underquilt for like 50 bucks. Um, I mean, it is heavier and bulkier than the down ones, but I think um, that's a good place to start, definitely. And if you don't mind the weight and you're going on shorter trips, you can stick with that one, too. So if you guys are looking to buy some of these, we'll have the links in the description. And also, there's a review of this tarp we did, which is an awesome AquaQuest tarp. And also our hammocks underneath there. There will be a link to the reviews as well. All right, that concludes this review. Hopefully that was informative and helpful. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions or comments, or if I have any updates on these things, I will leave them below in the description. I'll put a little annotation in the video. Um, and thanks for watching the video. Share it if you liked it. And as always, praise God for everything he's created and given to us. And I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye, guys.